I thought I was going to make it at 16. So I'm 10 years late, to be honest. Uh, I grew up with like a little Romeo and a little Bow Wow. So I was like, oh, yeah, you, you can only be a success if you started like 16. I think that's a misconception for a lot, a lot of, of careers, guys. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I started in the film industry and, you know, you always want to be the young gun, you know, that gets out there first. Yeah. But you soon realise it's not about, like, getting there first True. and winning the awards. It's uh, part of being an artist is uh, reflecting your life through your art form. True that. You know? So the older you get, the better the stories you have, even in music, that so you can true. reflect on. Uh, you notice the themes back in the day. Uh in hip hop, you know, in the eighties, uh, it was uh, about rebelling against the system. Yeah, true. You know, the, this oppressive, which they thought system, mm. and it was. I mean, if you look at uh, places like the Bronx, and it was just it looked like a war zone true. compared to Manhattan. True. And uh, they just thought, you know, we've we're being forgotten about. Yeah. They had material to sing about. Yeah, and true. and their voices could only be heard through music. True. So th their their soul of the hip hop culture came from being oppressed as a culture in that area. Right. And now they had a form of expression to yell because they couldn't get on a soapbox and yell directly at the president. Yeah. But yet they could get their voice heard. Yeah. Then in the late nineties it became about Bitches and money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you notice? Yeah. Clubs, bitches, money. Because hip-hop now was mainstream. I know, right. And yeah. so, you know, guys can make a lot of money doing their music. So they can't really talk about being oppressed anymore True. because they'd made it yeah. and and a lot of uh, a lot of the guys were and girls were making it in the music industry in different careers mm. so then it became about the wealth and exploiting that money like yeah. now i've got the money bitches i know right <laughs> i can do whatever the fuck i want you know yeah. and and like this is what i'm doing yeah and i think culture's changing again now yeah so it'd be interesting to see that's what I wanted to find out as well. Mm. Is uh, what? Where do you think that? Where do you think that is now? And what do you think the music's going to be like in the next ten years within the hip hop culture? What do you think they'll have to talk about and they will be singing about in the next couple of years? Do you know what? I think there's a big social um, awareness that you know the world is going towards. Um, might just be me because of who I actually, you know, spend my time listening to, but not quite, you know, fully just, you know, what we used to call con conscious rap. Yeah. Um, I think, for example, I might just name drop him anyway. J. Cole is the person I, you know, admire most in the music industry. Um, there's such a mastery of craft there, with someone like J. Cole. And he's not the only one doing it, but uh, to me, he... I, you know, I could resonate quite well with, with his lifestyle. He went to uni, he did all that, and he tries to approach, you know, the music in a certain way. Pardon me. Now, with that, um, I think we're all starting to be a bit more socially aware. There's so many movements going right now that we try and, um, you know, we're trying to move society in the right direction. So I think hip-hop, as you said, we, we have been mainstream. You know, we are mainstream. Um, we're the best way to get messages out there, I feel. Not, you know, doing me wrong, there's, you know, I, I think we just saw a bunch of movies that came out for, for really talented musicians and they were able to move crowds. But I think the one thing that you find in hip hop is when a message is said in hip hop, it typically hits home because it's for the voiceless. 